Hey, hey guys, this is Ricky. I got up early this morning about 5 or 6. Tromped around to some people's uh, channels. Caused a little bit of hell. Of course, that's what happens. But, uh, you know, hey, I just want to tell you, hey, we survived. We survived. And, uh, of course, they're all chomping at the bit, these religious people, because they just thought for sure that this was going to be the end of the times for them. Just, they've been waiting forever. You know, they're looking underneath everything. They should look in the cookie jar. They should look in their refrigerator. Whenever I'm actually missing something that I really need terrible, well, I don't know if that's a good excuse or anything, but I, I searched the refrigerator. It's, it might be in there. You never know. But yeah, so what is this? Hindsight is 2020, they say, you know? And even with these peepers of ours that they call the, uh, <coughs> the thieves. The thieves. Listen, you, listen. They were absolutely so sure that it was going to be, this was the time, you know. So I'll ask, when's the next one, you guys? When is the next one, you know? You know, they've been, we've been waiting on this, this particular date. Do you remember them circulating some kind of a Trump, Trump, August 21st, Trump, Trump. August 21st or something like that, you know, and then it built everything off of this. What's going to happen on that day? <gasps> oh, oh, right. Oh, right. <gasps> There's an eclipse that day. Oh, my God. Something terrible's got to happen. And, you know, my goodness. And look, going around from place to place looking at what this, this, this natural occurrence in our world causes the nuts down, down at the people down to... Listen, you know, I even hear the Hopis trying to pull their spiritual thing out, saying, you know, we, 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 um, we Indians, uh, you know, we Native Americans really, we hold this in high regard, and I would like to think that our children should not have to participate in this in schools. You know, you know, where, what is that? Uh, I, I, my children, I, I've got some lawsuit going against the school now because my uh, my Arabic or my uh, my Islamic child had to eat uh, pork today in school. She didn't know it, but she told me what she ate. And, oh my God! Listen, goofballs, goofballs, goofballs. Look at what religion has done to the world, and look at what it's still doing. You know, it is a white man's religion. To understand that puts down the woman and allows the man to be the strongest guy and who's been the strongest people on earth for a long time the white man the white man and who does he take advantage of everyone else including other white men you know is it hard to understand you know that we made our bed and now we got a lie in it you know and that means L.I.E. all right yeah, hindsight's 2020. We've come a long, long ways. And they've been waiting for their Savior to come for over 2,000 years. And if you know how old those texts really are, they actually have been waiting around for 6,000 years for this guy to come. And all the texts say that, that when one day, one day, when, every, when in the midst of all kinds of hell and tribulations and turmoil, one will rise up amongst you that is going to be to bring about the end of times and of course I get this you're not enlightened you talk you got this you, you say cuss words you don't believe in Jesus you know I have this little girl running around we've had her for some time I've blocked her because you know I just I can't see it's going so far ahead and then skipping all the way back again. And just recently, uh, the last night when I was fumbling through things, I found her in the spam box. I'm sure she thinks that I wasn't going to put her on. I had blocked her again. But, uh, you know, it just goes to show, you know, she's, she's talking about, you know, how, how the, uh, the scriptures that are found in the Bible verse the same code things that I'm finding in the nursery. She said, they just don't have that holiness. They're not governed by God. You know, it has nothing to do with God. All right, let's just put that away. All right, there is no God up there that is going to come down 
and punish you because you did something wrong. The whole idea behind this way is like uh, having something else that you do with your body to keep it healthy. All right? You want to give all your thanks to God every time you eat something, every time you buy something, every time you lose something and stuff like that. You know, this is this is a strange worship. The same way, you know, like face like the sun says, Look, I don't want anyone to stand out there and stare at the sun. Not that it's going to uh, uh, make you blind, but you are worshiping the sun by spending too much time on it. You're venerating the sun. You know, well, what does that mean? If I watch my take my goldfish for too long, does that, am I worshipping my goldfish? How ridiculous. How ridiculous. How stupid. Oh, something's going to happen. You know, all it means is it's a phase. The whole idea behind this in our, in our Bibles is that when that day comes, it'll be like, you know, darkness, the day of the Lord. And they're all the same, tribulation, uh, whenever it comes down to, we've got a rapture coming on, you know, we're going to be lifted up, you know, and there's going to be left behind. They're all looking around, left behind. They're all going to be left behind. Everybody's left behind. Because the only way to not get left behind is to, is to observe the law. And the law has to do with those number systems that we found and going inside and cleaning house. That's all. That's it. That's it. There's nothing holy to it at all. You don't have to thank God, you know, although I do. But, you know, it's really more like I'm thanking myself. I love this new me. I enjoy the new guy. I think it's wonderful. But am I going to get down, you know, and, and, and suck some entity's fingers in order to... Uh, I thank you, thank you, thank you. No, it was given up for us to us to find. I'm not going to get praised to something that's meant to. You were meant to find this. Oh yeah, I'm just going to say, God, thank God, I found it. You know, but I'm not going to bust out in tears and think about a dead man dying for me. I died for me. I died for me. I'm Jesus. I took the pill. You know, I'm the one who did this. Not this, not the scripture. The scripture told me how to do it. That was a lesson plan. You know? Not even a Bible. Is I, I would I would throw the Bible, I would step on it. You know? I'm gonna go out and burn it to show how stupid it is. I'm not a broke burning guy, but you know, hey, if it was a, a new age Bible or any of uh, you know, the newer versions of the King James, yeah, let's have a big old torch. Let's show them how stupid it is and how, how it is how ineffective those are, just as ineffective as the real book is to people who don't know how to read it, all right? And because I found it in the Tao, and I found it in, uh, in all of these wonderful other places that speak of God, they're all the same. They're all the same. There's no one greater than the other, all right? They're all the same. It's a push and a pull around, the, around uh, uh, religious things. That's idiotic, all right? Those things kill people. What's all that was about? To tell you how to do it and to punish you. This situation of going inside and cleaning out is not punishment. Not at all. It's, all right, it's punishment if you didn't want to go. That's why it's a choice, you know? So if you want to go and hook up with mankind and believe in the religious side of things, enjoy your poverty, all right? This flipping over from one side to another, you know, is not showing that you have any growth. The Bible says that you will not be saved by mankind. Only God can save you. God can do anything. All right? That's what it says. All right? You are God. Called us gods. They want to use a little G on us. You know why it's a little G? It's because we are what they call the son of man. We are in the lower aspects of things. Yes, it's a lower G, all right? I use lower G all the time because I don't give a damn, you know? I'm gonna give him respect. I can't read this because it's, oh, I capitalized the G in my God. You know, well, listen, you're talking from a little G, bitch, you know? You'd like to have that big G, wouldn't you? Well then, shut the fuck up, go inside, clean house, now. You're the son of God, all right? So you have to understand the whole idea of son of man, 
lower case, low, lower case G, lower you. No matter how beautiful you are. Alright? I've been a pretty guy for a long time to this community. I've, I give half of everything I make money-wise and, 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 and by my hands, by creative, you know, my time, my talent, you know, my love. I do all that before I ever, ever, before I ever believed that I could catch on to this Jesus stuff, you know up to here in it. Spotted sheep they call us. Spotted sheep. Remember sheeps are thoughts. Sheeps are good thoughts but no matter what they were still spotted because they came from the left side of our mind. Alright. This is the lower side of us. The lower G. Alright. So when you are a son of man you're just son of yourself. You know. God. Jesus was the son of man. Do you understand? And then He's the son of God. So he teaches you how to raise yourself so you can get the capital G. That's all that is. But um, there's absolutely no holiness in this. All right. That's implied from the outside. Shh, this is a holy place. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. You're on holy ground. You know? You know what it means to take your shoes off? It means to come naked. It means to get shed your Shed your, shed your, how I say, shed your skin. That's going through the water, and when you come out of the water, you are naked. You are without your skin. You're gone. You just washed yourself. That's all that means. Doesn't mean you have to be clean to go in here. You want to be quiet. You want to give them some respect. You want to give the, the most viperous uh, uh, piece of shit. It's like going into the den of the devil and giving him respect. You know. No, no, that's not how it works. You can believe in it all you want. You can believe all that crap, but please, you know, don't, don't, don't wipe your feet in my, in my little world here. You know, it just, it, it, it's awful. It's awful. People running around with dogma on their shoes and tracking it about. It's not the coolest thing on earth. Let's, 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 let's talk about that, you know. All that punishment and all that hatred and all that separation, which is divisiveness, you know, and uh, the unequalness between male and female, and the idea that the blacks have to serve the whites and that the and the fags are actually hated. This is this this book. This book has got nothing to add to the world except more confusion and more garbage. All right, and of course that means those that take religion at face value so if you were to understand the whole idea behind the story of a little hidden box inside of us a little that one of them is going to give us the hell but the other one will give us the cure do you understand that's all inside of us that this is a, 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 a beautiful little story that, that, that teaches people how to go in and clean house themselves. It's called uh, Physician Heal Thyself. You know, We're going to hear more about this self-worshipping and quit grip. I'm not self-worshipping myself when I sit down and I sit still and I make way for the kingdom of heaven and I spend my time focusing on the higher aspects of myself in order to get there. There's no prayer. There's no mantra. There's no bead spinning. There's no nothing. It's just me attempting to shut down the left side of my brain so that I can make it up there and have a little chat or talk or get a little something from above or lose something. I know all y'all are waiting for me to lose my, 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 my dirty language. I'm ready to too, but you know, the easiest things first. It's the idea that you can be yourself. Alright? Now, if yourself is to be an asshole, that side may not ever happen again. You know, you may slowly become, you know, you know, some kind of a cat lover or something. But the new you, the new you means that you're no longer going to feed from the lower. That's all. 
and, and, and that you had now brought on the higher conscious, leashed together. The animal nature in you has been quelled by adding mother and father and the child together three as one. Now, now you're worshiping one God. Do you understand? Because Elohim is not one God. It's, it's the idea of three in one, you know, three in one. You know, hindsight. It's 2020. When you can go upstairs and connect the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain and yourself, because you're the only one that can do this, right? The temple, Solomon's temple is up here. You got to walk up that spiral staircase to get there. You're the only one. You're the high priest. You're the only one that can do this all right you're not going to get it from the text you're not going to get it from all these other things you're just you're going to learn about those things but just because you've read them doesn't mean that you know oh all i got to do is shout jesus's name and i'm cool this goodness how just how easy how even more shallow can a christian get all right jesus christ all right so I just wanted to say, hey, hey, happy. You know what happened when we had this, with this, 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 this business happen? All it is is to show a transition within yourself, the eclipse. When we go from darkness, and remember this started out in the morning. Whenever it goes across, it's cut a path across all of you. You know, the entire nation. That's the nations and the Bible is you, you know, and that uh, uh, you, a ruler of many nations, you know. Why would the Bible tell you of, of, the, of the temptation of Christ when devil comes out and says, I will make you the ruler of all of these nations if you follow me? What is that? How is it that God and Jesus, or God, Jesus and this devil offer up the same thing? They also offer you, they're going to increase us. You're going to be a ruler of many nations, all right? That's the same thing. The thing is, is that if you want to work out of the left side of your brain, you're ruling the nation. You are just one big child of hell because anything that comes out of the left side of our brain is considered a child from hell all right we have already given up the other children to ball we've given him this right side we've given him the, the baby making of device we've signed it all over to him or we just didn't even know that we had another way to go so there is the giants, this unbridled animal instinct that that eats children, and has a has an appetite that is unquenchable. All right, that's how this this plays out. And it says all you got to do is go inside and clean that out, and you know you'll no longer uh, draw water for the lower side of your mind. You you will you'll draw from the right side of your mind. And now everything is on a better, higher, conscious level. And of course, you are the ruler of this nation now. There's two in you. There's the male, which is the dominant side, and then there's the female side, which is the spiritual side. Which one do you want to be? You know? I've gone up there, I came back down, I had myself, I have some of my, I have, I have a good part of me, everything, the same guy, you know, I just know different stuff, I talk about different things, you know, but still, it's me, it's just me, you know, the only thing that this energy takes away is things that hold you back, you know, things that take away from you, things that keep you from making it to this place where we want to go which is heaven and it's not something that you seek when you're dead 
with them physically dead when you give up the ghost. No, you want to give up the spirit. And all you have to do that is by meditation. And this is the only way. This is the only way. There isn't any other way. What God considers lip service is when you sit there and you're just a praying and you're praying, you're saying the same things over and you're crying. Uh, this ain't gonna work. This not this is not this is not how you do it. That's not how you do it. I have spent the last three or four months sleeping with this on my mind, waking up with it on my mind, having it on my mind all day long. Do you understand? It is in, it's affecting my work, you know, but do you think I care? You know, it's just making me slow down a little bit. This is not this is not how God destroys things. You want to know what he meant when he you know what's the business between Jonah, the sign of Jonah? Do you know what it meant? In the whole story, this guy that started off at the beginning that I wanna see my neighbors who are bad destroyed. Like we wanna see uh, everybody in Korea, North Korea, destroyed. No, can we figure out some way? to go over there and see if we can get them to turn around and do something different? You mean there's a way? You know, God will come down and say, Jonah, just go give him my word. That's why they act a fool. If you give him my word, you know, I'll give them 40 days to clean up or I'm going to destroy them. Oh, oh, well, what if I just don't tell them and they'll hide off someplace and then God will just destroy them anyways and I would have gone away without having to help my neighbor without having to love my neighbor. Just ran, ran, ran away, ran away. What he was done is he he sat there after he after all his crap that he went through, which he didn't. Alright. He sat across from from this village and waited for the God to destroy him. And when it didn't happen it just pissed him off. It absolutely pissed him off. This is the religious. I wanted to see you destroy that God. You said you would. You know, they're our enemies. I want you to destroy them. Well, he says, you know, well, you gave them my word and they all repented. Everyone changed. Just like the idea of unless you can convert and come to me as a child, you cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven unless you change. All right, unless you change. Do you understand? You got to change from here to being the child. How else are you going to get there? Do you think you got to die as a kid to do that? This is what I ask. So you know, it's just smart. It's just smarter, and there's a, and it's and every little loose end that you think you can find in 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 what I have to teach. I'll I'll show you how it how they all come together if you don't already recognize it. It's just too seamless not to not to be correct, all right? And again, I'm not the author of it. I'm just a messenger of it. So I don't make anything up, all right? There may be a little thing like what I thought this was. You know, I think this part is, I think this is the moon. I'm working on it. I'm thinking of stuff. But the rest of this book pretty much is right on there. All right, so I just wanted to let you know we live through another. Let's wait and see what the next big catastrophe is going to be pinned on. And just show you how, you know, they have just been throwing a rock, so to speak, pulling themselves to it. Oh, there's another date. And they pull themselves to it. Oh, and here's another date. And they pull themselves to it. All along, their minds going up and down. Oh, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Good night. Good night, bunch of crazy motherfuckers, you know. Best to you guys. Have a beautiful day. Love you.